In this video, we want to talk about session guarantees. We want to see what are session guarantees, how we can provide them with raft and hybrid logical clocks, and what is the cost of providing session guarantees in a real system. Usually, service providers replicate their data in different geographical locations. This technique is called georeplication and allows us to decrease the network latency for local clients and increase the data availability. A big challenge in replicating the data is the problem of inconsistency between replicas. It is possible that two replicas have different values for the same data item. This is called data anomaly and it makes life hard for application developers. In an ideal situation, we want a strong consistency, which is also known as linearizability. A strong consistency provides an illusion of having only a single copy of the data. Thus, it completely eliminates all data anomalies. But it comes with high performance and availability costs. The well-known CAP theorem says, it is impossible to achieve a strong consistency for an always available system in presence of network partitions. Due to the costs of stronger consistency models, many practical systems use eventual consistency that guarantees that eventually all replicas converge. However, other data anomalies still exist that make uh, application development complex. In this work, uh, we focus on session guarantees, also known as client-centric consistency models. Uh, they guarantee that certain inconsistencies are avoided within a client session. For example, client view never goes backward in time, or client is able to read what it has written, or writes by a client are applied with, this, with the correct order. Session guarantees are much weaker than perfect strong consistency, but, they are, but there are several benefits in, is, in using them. Uh, they prevent some of eventual consistency anomalies, they cause a very low message or the metadata overhead. They don't cause a slowdown cascade and they don't require a sticky client. With this introduction, this is what we want to talk about in this video. We first talk about the system architecture and the assumptions. Then we define session guarantees. After that, we provide our protocol and the experimental results and finally the conclusion. We focus on the key value data model. Two basic operations for a key value store are put and get. Put writes a value for a key and get reads the value of a key. We consider a partition a data store where in each replica we have several partitions. Partitioning increases the scalability of the system as we don't need to fit the whole data in a single machine. We have two levels of replication. The first level is inside a data center. Replicas inside a data center are mainly created to increase the fault tolerance uh, in case of partition failure. They also increase the durability of the data as if one of the replica is lost, the data is uh, still available in other replicas. The second level of replication is the geo-replication by creating replicas in different data centers. Geo-replication provides fault tolerance in case of whole data center failure. It also reduces uh, network latency for local clients. The latency between replicas inside a data center is very low. Thus, providing high levels of consistency is practical for replicas inside the same data center. We provide sequential consistency for replicas inside the data center. That means inside the data center, all updates are applied in the same order in all replicas. To provide sequential consistency inside the data center, replicas inside the data center form a raft group. A simplified uh, a sketch of the algorithm is as follows. So first, a leader is elected by the raft algorithm. Now all updates are submitted to the leader. The leader sends update to all replicas and they add the updates to their logs. This way, updates are inserted to local logs in the same order. All replicas apply updates as they read their logs. Between data centers, updates are applied asynchronously via a special member called EXIP. 
Uh, DXC is a non-voting member of the Raft group that sends update to the other data center as soon as it finds them in its life. The XC member of the receiving data center submits the update to the leader of the local Raft group like normal updates submitted by the client. The leader then uh, replicate the update to all replicas. Now we want to focus on session guarantees. The session is an abstraction for the sequence of operation performed during the execution of an application. For example, in a web application, we can consider all operations submitted between a user's login and logout as the session. We have four session guarantees, monotonic read, monotonic write, read your write, and write follows reads. Monotonic read requires that within a session, subsequent reads uh, to a given object never return any previous values. Intuitively, uh, it means client's view cannot go backward in time. For example, in a webmail application, uh, a user is always able to see all messages that has seen before. New emails may be added to the mailbox in the next time that the user checks their mailbox, but no email can disappear once the user saw it. Note that the monotonic read is not guaranteed by the eventual consistency. It can happen if client reads from different replicas and one replica has not received the most recent value for a key. Monotonic write requires a session's write become visible in the order they were submitted in the session. For example, in a social networking application, Alice uploads a photo. Then she adds it to an album. Monotonic write guarantees that in any replica, the album uh, refers to the photo only when photo has been received by the replica. In eventual consistency, it might be violated. Thus, an album may refer to a missing photo. Write follows reads require a session's write become visible only after all writes previously read in the session are visible. For example, in a social networking application, Bob uh, reads Alice's comments on a post and then write another comment. Write follows reads guarantees all clients accessing any replica see Alice and Bob's comments in the correct order. Read your write requires that whenever a client reads a given data item, after updating it, uh, the read returns the updated value or a newer version. For example, in a shopping cart application, the users must always find items they have added to their carts. Satisfying session guarantees for write operations is challenging in partition systems because it requires partition to constantly communicate with each other, which increases message complexity. More importantly, the slowdown of one partition affects the visibility uh, of the updates in other partitions and it can create uh, a slowdown cascades. So the slowdown cascade is one of the main reasons why practical systems avoid consistency models stronger than eventual consistency. To avoid the slowdown cascades, we weaken uh, session guarantees more by considering a per key version of write session guarantees. So per key monotonic write is the monotonic write for individual keys. Specifically, it requires each session's write for a specific key become visible in the order they were submitted in the session. Thus, it allows us to change the order of writes for different keys by the client. For example, uh, Alice updates her password two times. The pair key monotonic write guarantees that she can log in uh, with the most recent password in all replicas. So eventual consistency does not guarantee it uh, if updates happens uh, in different replicas. Similarly, per key write follows reads is the write follows reads for individual keys. Specifically, a session's write for a specific key becomes visible only after all writes for that key read in the session are visible. For example, Bob reads a document on an online editor updated by Alice. Then he adds a new line to the, the, to the document. So the pair key write follows reads guarantees 
all replicas find the version with the added line. Again, eventual consistency uh, does not guarantee this. We also consider two combined uh, guarantees. Monotonic write follows reads, which is a combination of monotonic write and write follows reads, and monotonic read your write, which is a combination of monotonic read and read your write. Now we want to see how we can provide per key session guarantees for our system that uses raft algorithm inside data centers and eventual consistency across data centers. Uh, in our algorithm, we utilize hybrid logical clocks to timestamp versions. Let's see why we chose hybrid logical clocks instead of conventional logical clocks and physical clocks. We want to assign timestamp uh, such that two following properties are satisfied. Property 1, timestamps are close to the physical time within the clock drift. And property 2, timestamps capture causal relation. That is, if E happens before F, then timestamp of E is strictly smaller than that of F. Logical clock violates property 1, as logical timestamps have no relation to the real time. Physical clock, on the other hand, violate property 2 due to physical clock anomalies, such as going backward or clock skew between physical clocks of different machines. Now, let's see why we want these properties. Property 1 has two important benefits. First, timestamps are meaningful according to the real clock. This is important as we can see what was the value of a key at a certain time. Secondly, uh, we can resolve conflicting updates according to their timestamp to realize last write wins conflict resolution. Let's see an example. We have two replicas. The physical clock in both machines is 5. The logical clock in the left replica is 100, while it is only 10 in the right replica. Note that logical clock uh, uh, grow with different rates in different machines. Thus, having large differences between logical clocks uh, in different machines is quite normal. Now a client writes a value x for key k on the left replica. At time 8, another client uh, write value y for the same key on the right replica. Here, according to the physical uh, clock, y is the winner version, which is correct according to the last right wins conflict resolution. But according to the logical clock, x is the winner, which is wrong. So in this scenario, physical clock is better than logical clock. Property 2 also has two benefits. First, we can satisfy pair key monotonic write and write follows reads consistency, as we will see in upcoming slides. Secondly, we can realize last write wins when there is a causal relation between events. Let's see an example. Like previous example, we have two replicas. Suppose physical clock and logical clock are 5 and 100 respectively in the left replica. A client writes a value x for key k on the left replica. Suppose physical clock and logical clock are 4 and 10 respectively on the right replica. Note that because of clock skew, it is possible for the right replica to have a physical clock smaller than the left replica. Now client writes a value y for, k, for key k on the right replica. Here, According uh, to the physical clock, x is the winner, which is wrong based on last right wins conflict resolution. But according to the logical clock, y is the winner, uh, which is correct. So in this scenario, uh, logical clock is better than physical clock. Hybrid logical clocks satisfy both property 1 and 2. Thus, they have all benefits uh, mentioned for logical clocks and physical clocks in previous slides. For example, this allows HLCs to determine the correct uh, winner version in both uh, scenarios we mentioned. HLC has two parts. And the first part denoted as L is our best knowledge of physical time. The second part uh, denoted as C is used to capture causality uh, whenever physical time is not enough to do that. 
due to physical clock anomalies. The algorithm to update HLCs uh, is shown on the right. You can pause the video to read more carefully. Now, let's see how we can use HLC timestamps to provide session guarantees. Our protocol has a client side and a server side. On the client side, the state of a client is maintained via four variables. The first variable is a matrix called HWM that maintains the highest draft log indexes of versions written by the client in each partition. Similarly, HRM maintains the highest draft indexes of versions read by the client. Uh, DTS is the highest timestamp of versions read by the client, and DTW is the highest HLC timestamp of versions written by the client. On the server side, the state of a server is maintained via two variables. The first variable is a vector called SV that maintains the highest, log, uh, highest raft log index committed by this, this server written in each data center. And the second variable is the value of the HLC at the server. On the client side, the protocol provides two basic get and put operations. The application developer can specify the desired consistency level as an additional argument. For get operation, consistency level can be eventual monotonic read, read your write, or monotonic read your write. According to the requested consistency level, we assign two vectors, HRV and HWV, to either zero vectors or one of the rows in HRM or HWM, respectively. The client sends the requested key together with HRV and HWV to the server. The server returns the value of the requested key to the client along with its uh, data center ID, log index, and HLC timestamp of the return version. The client updates its HRM and uh, DTR accordingly. Similarly, for the put uh, operation, the client can specify its desired consistency level according to which uh, we set value of the variable dt to 0, dtr, or dtw. The client sends the key and value along with dt. The server returns the data center ID, log index, and the HLC timestamp assigned to the version to the client. The client updates its uh, HWM and dtw accordingly. Upon receiving a GET request on the server side, the server blocks if there is an entry in HRV or HWV that is higher than its corresponding value in SV of the server. This situation happens when the server has not committed a version that is required to guarantee the requested consistency level. After SV advanced enough, the server returns the version with the highest HLC timestamp among versions in the version chain of the requested key. Unlike, unlike uh, get operations, a put operation never block thanks to HLC's ability of advancing open request. Upon receiving a put request, the server first updates its HLC using HLC algorithm by the DT value sent by the client. The server next assigns its uh, current HLC as the timestamp to the new version and appends it to its raft log. The server next returns uh, the log index and HLC timestamp assigned to the new version to the client. We implemented our protocol uh, in new KV that is a key value store for eBay services with high performance and availability requirements. Now we present some of our experimental results of using this protocol. Uh, we run our experiment in a system with two data centers. One data center is located in Phoenix and the other is located in Salt Lake City. We run three replicas in each data center plus the exit server. Uh, we also run one client machine uh, with several uh, client threads in each data center. We compare the performance of our system with the same algorithm that uses physical clocks uh, in a set of HLCs. Thus, it may need to delay some of the write operations to guarantee monotonic writes uh, or uh, write follows read uh, guarantees. We consider four levels of consistencies. E means eventual consistency for both read and write operations. M slash E means monotonic write follows reads for write operation and eventual consistency for the read operations. E slash M 
uh, means eventual consistency for write operation and monotonic read your write for read operation. And finally, m slash m means monotonic write follows read for write operation and monotonic read your write for read operation. The ones uh, with HLC subscript are for the cases where we use HLC. We first uh, consider the case uh, where clients are sticky, that is, they don't change the replicas that they access. The results are for a workload with 50% read and 50% write operations. As we see, with the sticky clients, the session guarantees do not cause significant overhead compared with eventual consistency. The additional latency in all cases is less than one millisecond. When we have non-sticky clients that run 10% of their operation in the remote data center, the difference is more clear. In all cases, the eventual consistency has the lowest latency. M slash E, when using HLC, provides the same latency as that of eventual consistency due to the weight-free write operations by using HLCs. For, for 40 client threads, M slash E, E slash M, and M slash M requires an additional 10 millisecond uh, latency compared with eventual consistency. When we use HLC, M slash E uh, require no additional latency, E slash M and M slash M require 7.7 .7 and 8.6 uh, millisecond additional latencies. We next study the effect of workload type. As we move toward write heavier workloads, the latency increases, which is expected as write operations are heavier than read operation. For the sticky clients, again, the overhead of providing session guarantees compared with eventual consistency is negligible. With 10% remote operation, the difference is clear. Again, M slash E with HLC provides same performance as eventual consistency. For M slash M with HLC, uh, the latency drops as we move from uh, 0.75 write proportion to 1. The reason is with write proportion 1, there is no read operation, and for write operations, m slash m with HLC is the same as m slash e with HLC. Thus, it does not require any blocking. So, this is the implication of the results. The additional latency for session guarantees with a sticky clients is negligible, which is less than one millisecond. With 10% remote operation, the additional latencies are as follows. So note that the above latencies are due to the consistency level asked by the application, not the overhead of our algorithm. So based on these results, we can conclude that per key session guarantees are useful consistency levels that can help application developers and are cheap to achieve. So, in this video, we presented the design of NuKV, which is designed for services with uh, very high availability and performance requirements at eBay. We provided an algorithm based on HLCs that eliminates the need for delaying write operations to satisfy monotonic write and write follows read guarantees. We evaluated the cost of providing session guarantees, and we provided modified version of session guarantees that do not cause a slowdown cascade for system with large numbers of partitions. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, please write it in the comment section.